Hello Wanderers, welcome back to our Crusader Kings 3 roleplay series following House Stringo. And as we return, we find ourselves in an interesting time, not necessarily within the game, although it is, but within the greater scope of Crusader Kings 3, as you will no doubt all know a new DLC has recently dropped just a few days ago, about a week or so, before filming this episode. Unfortunately, the updated version seems to have caused some issues with the save files. And after spending a bunch of time trying out different things, I recorded an episode with the new version, but there were quite a few bugs in the save file. I decided to try to revert back to the previous version. Um, unfortunately, that meant that the mods were out of, uh, were out of date then. And basically everybody was naked because we were using the uh, community flavor pack mod. So I had to take off that mod in order to have people be clothed. As uh, I don't think I'd be able to post this on YouTube if they were not. Uh, but it seems like this is now a somewhat stable version. However, with all the, the bugs and things like that, it is making me consider what we shall do with the current playthroughs going forward, this Drango one as well as the Stiarna one, as I imagine that both will be somewhat broken if we ever do try to update to the new version and there are cool things in the new DLC that I would be interested in trying out but we shall have to see and to that end we will continue to play like this until we can find ourselves an interesting spot to end our first season of the Drango playthrough and then I will look to you guys to see what the next uh, option is. Obviously there have been some hiatuses as well as I have been be busy with work and life and unfortunately there isn't really anything I can do about that at the moment. So I do appreciate everybody's patience and waiting for new episodes and hopefully I'll be able to continue to uh, produce more episodes and uh, give you guys stuff to watch. But I do, my main goal is to make sure that we can at least get the Drango playthrough to an interesting ending point so that we can figure out what to do uh, after that point together. So, to that end, we should probably play the game. Uh, as you will remember, the last bit of the playthrough was essentially continuing the wars of King Tancred II, who has been successful in, I believe, every conflict that he has taken part in as king and essentially making some small expansions to the realm uh, against the Byzantines and against the Muslims of Iberia. And just in general, things have been going fairly smoothly, but we do want to continue that. Uh, before we continue, I would like to request some money from the Pope because why not and we shall let a little bit of time pass we'll get our money thank you good Pope he has considered our plight and he has decided to grant our request oh you're a fornicator are you Pope well 
So, so be it. Uh, we will take your money, but... Uh, but we will not take your side, uh, especially not in this war that you have going on against the Byzantines. But no, no, we shall continue our own wars. Ah, oh, what do we have here? I'm hearing rumors about a hermit who resides in Galura. Many details about this mystic's identity are contradictory. For example, some say the hermit is a man, others a woman, others that he is neither or both. What most of the stories agree on is that this holy person is a true believer. Thing is, everybody wants an audience with him. The hermit struggles to find peace and quiet. Anyways, the rumors of this legendary hermit are certainly inspiring locals to de dedicate themselves to more religious matters. So, Galera will get this Shy Hermit modifier, which eh, is actually not great. But uh, we also gain 50 prestige, which is fine by me. We do have too many holdings to that end. I would consider perhaps giving one of them out. Mm, looks like it's all on Sardinia and then our one in Valencia, but we want to keep Valencia because one of our kids is going to get that. So I think I don't really want to give up one that's like right in the middle of our territory. So Sasari is one of our better ones. Olbia, uh, you know, that's, that's not a great one. Can we give, uh, Galura here. We shall find a quartz here first. Oops. And then we shall give that away. I don't really want to give it to one of my sons because they're going to get other territories. I think Hugh de Lecce, a good Seculo Norman man, legendary blade master, humble. Seems uh, pretty good. Let's grant you a title. We will grant you the county of Galura. Yeah, that should be fine. There we go. And we can get a new dynasty legacy. So we will continue down the warfare path and get inherited tactics, which increases our men at arms counter efficiency, which is awesome because we have excellent men at arms and our advantage plus five. Just gonna give us huge bonuses in war. And where is our war going to be? Well, it is firstly going to be against North Africa. Uh, and that is for uh, one major reason is that we do have obviously a lot of trade flowing through here, through the. Uh, through the Malta Channel and the Sicilian Narrows here. Obviously, the Byzantines have some control over that, but we want to control that as well. And with pirates coming here from North Africa, uh, that's going to be impacting our trade quite a bit. So we are going to deal with that. We're going to declare a holy war on both of these uh realms here, the Zirids and the Riyadids, and we will attempt to deal with them as quickly as possible. So we'll raise up all of our armies, and that will include a Holy Order, the Knights Hospitaller, and with that amount of troops, I don't think we're going to need to even bother calling in our allies. I will probably move here and take the... It's a lot of troops to lose uh, if we don't take that one county. So we'll take, we'll take that county first. I do want to keep an eye just to make sure that we don't get too many of their allies called in. Uh, so I think we'll be fine. My Lord Balaz brings us our ornamental coffret. Ah. 
I think that is indeed lovely. Uh, we would put it up in our throne room, but I'm pretty sh I was going to say I was pretty sure our throne room had uh, stuff in it already, but I guess not. Uh, that may be a bug because I think I remember having some sort of chess set or something. But oh well, uh, we it's not like we're not expecting bugs considering what you know was going on with all the updates. Farmers nearby have discovered what happens to be the bones of some large fantastical beast trapped in stone, or at least we think it is some sort of creature skeleton. Looks like nothing I've ever seen before. Would do nice as a decoration. Want to study it? I don't think we're a stu studious person, so I think we will use it as a, a decoration in our home. All right, so we'll siege down this quickly. If anything interesting happens in the meantime, I will let you guys know. All right, and the siege is just about to end, and that should be that all well and taken care of. Let's defeat their army here and now. And as you can see, the battle goes incredibly smoothly and we even captured the... Uh, who did we capture? Nobody. Uh, looks like we just des destroyed their army so utterly they have no choice but to surrender to our demands. So we will, uh, we will do so. There we go. And now we can come in and attempt to take the Zerids. Looks like they're fleeing. I wonder if they're going to attempt to head towards my realm. If so, we might call up one of the holy orders. But I'm not... Yeah, okay. Let's see here. Could we call up the holy order? Teutonic order? I wonder if they would be able to beat them on their own. Ah, uh, we can't. We've already hired one, so... Yeah, they, they're gonna try to siege us down. We will... Oh, what happened there? Beatrix died. Ah, uh, but we formed an alliance with Prince Adelbear. Heir to the Kingdom of Burgundy, which will be a powerful alliance. Very powerful alliance. Look at that chonky Burgundy there. Uh, that is pretty impressive. And I like that England did a little bit of a reverse a Norman conquest. Uh, as you can see, they are still the Godwins, but they have taken over Normandy, which is kind of the opposite of how things happened historically. All right, looks like I'm going to try to siege us down. I think we'll get ours sieged and then we'll get our troops there in time. We shall see though. Duke Torf came complaining about Camp Bernard bullying him. Uh, don't be a coward. Uh, a bully deserves whatever punishment you can imagine. Yeah, I guess that's the only a reasonable option for a callous person such as King Tancred II. Yeah, so it looks like we're gonna get this sieged down and then we'll we'll go back and defend our lands. We do need a new steward. Don't have the greatest of choices, I think. Yeah, perhaps counts are near you. Should be fine there. Okay, you know what? I had this bug in the previous when I was using the update too. Our wife is not showing up in the council. Uh, oh, it's because she's a. Uh, it's because she's a uh, the ruler of Sicily. That actually that explains that. 
she's not here to cancel us because she's busy running her own realm. Alright, let's, uh... We seize the star charts. Oh, cool. Let's go and take down their army here. This may be a little bit more of a battle. Uh, looks like our brother here, who seems to be quite ill, unfortunately, is uh, finding us some more commanders to serve at our side. Sensual proposal. Wherever I go, my beneficiary, Berta, is sure to follow. We could take her as our lover, but as you can see, we do feel loyalty and respect towards our wife. And if you respect your wife, then you would not. You would not seek solace in the arms of another. That is not the way such things would go. There we go. The battle of the slaughter of Gagliari. Indeed, they stood no chance. As you can see, Tataman was slain. Naib Tijad was slain and captured one of their commanders, Yukana, and Adnan was slain. Our massive force of knights clearly, clearly had the edge there. So with that, let's return and siege down their capital. And I do believe that should put the war pretty significantly in our favor. Oh, looks like the Pope actually defeated the Byzantine uh, forces of Tukfotios of Cephalonia, who is, as you can see, an incredibly powerful lord in the Byzantine Empire. My lord, let me introduce you to Anquitel, a man of great sanctity, renowned through your lands. He has come to your court atta attracted by your fame as a pious and just ruler. I would like to extend divine protection to one of your treasures. Abdallah's chest. Ah, uh, that's a good chest. We've got lots of money. Sure. Get a little... a blessing upon it. I don't see why not. I'm sitting around the map table with Count Simuni and Duke Torquator. Discussing our strategy for the ongoing war, Simone eagerly points out that all of the prime targets we should immediately send raiding parties to pillage while Torquator sits back and patiently advocates for us to secure critical locations and wait for the enemy to come to us instead. It is my right to decide our ultimate course of action. Of course, these are simplistic plans at best. I know how we can employ both strategies to maximum, whoa, maximum effect. My lord, my beneficiary, Berta, announces her arrival in a surprisingly loud voice. She proudly holds up a package wrapped in cloth. I return from Western Europe with an artifact for my journey. I take the bulky bundle into my hands and loosen the cords before peeling layer after layer of fabric. Inside is an artifact unlike any I have ever seen before. Berta smiles proudly. This short and heavy sword is claimed to be the legendary Durandal, hidden by Roland as his dying, dying act in an attempt to deny it to enemies of the crown. Well... That is, uh, that is a great sword. Plus 0.5 prestige. Plus 5% monthly renown. Plus 10% knight effectiveness. Plus 10 attraction opinion. Defender advantage. And court grandeur bonus. That is an insane sword. Absolutely insane. Yeah, okay. We don't need this cursed mace anymore. Pretty sure we've got frickin' the Excalibur here. Oh, it's a court item. Is it? Looks like it is. Why can't we put it in this space? <laughs> uh, I don't know what's going on, you know? Oh, here's our chest set. Oh, there we go. I see. It's just because it's all broken there. Okay, wait. How can we... 
Okay, I think we may have one of our spots like permanently bugged out from the chest set uh, because that's a community flavor pack item. Uh, you can see why it's a little bit annoying <laughs> with all these like updates and mods and things like that. But we uh, we are making do just as King Tancred is making do with his uh wars we will enforce our demands upon the emirate of tunis and that shall be that so there you go as you can see we've secured the strait uh on through to the east which should open up trade for the kingdom of sardinia and it should give us a little bit more leverage with the Byzantines who are obviously a big enemy but they are actually facing a, a pretty massive rebellion here from the kingdom of Anatolikon uh, as you can see the the king of Anatolia certainly has a lot of a lot of land here. Basically, all of Anatolia has risen up against him, including uh, Duke Manuel of Armenia. So the new emperor, Daniel of Serbia, is facing a pretty big rebellion, and it doesn't look like he, he might lose this one. So it will be curious to see how that all plays out. He is uh, defend descended from House Dukas. Uh, so he has a fairly legitimate claim here, but he is facing some massive, massive rebellions. So we shall see how that all plays out. Uh, a weakened Byzantine Empire is no problem to us. Uh, we do obviously need to grant out the lands in North Africa here. And let's, uh, do we have any Seculo Normans? Well, we've got Roland Fitz Eugenia, who is, oh, isn't, aren't you like our half brother? Yeah, wasn't Eugenia's our father's lover? Can we, uh, can we give you, can we give you those lands? Yeah, we probably could. All right, we're gonna give him these lands to kind of keep the Fitz Eugenia family, you know, in the in the tree. Titles can be created: the Duchy of Tunis. That is what I want to create. Let's go back and let's grant that to Gerald Fitz Eugenia. So. You can have all of these lands and the duchy. Hopefully you will be a good ruler and manage to keep control of those lands for us. You've got eh, not great war, average stewardship, some intrigue. Thrifty clerk, uh, he should be, he should be capable enough. And hopefully Hopefully they will manage that land well. So where do we go from here? Well, that is, that is an important question. We do have more options. Obviously, we could contend against the Veronese. We do have a claim on Pisa, I believe. Yes, on the county of Pisa. That would be pretty nice. That would cut off the Veronese from the controlling any of the trade in this area, at least uh, maritime trade. Obviously, they could continue to do so in the Adriatic. But we would be able to control a lot more of this. So I'm highly considering that. Uh, obviously, our wife and uh, will need to be continued to be supported against the Byzantines and we shall certainly do so uh, but there are other options do we continue in North Africa 
maybe against the Hamamids, or Hamadids, I should say. They do look reasonably vulnerable, and that would give us a nice swath of the north coast. Or could we potentially continue to make our way slowly towards Jerusalem to have a little bit more influence in that region, as obviously the Drango family will be continuing to have influence there uh, through the Gilbertine branch in the future. So we shall see. There are quite a few options. Obviously, Iberia is a, a good target as well, but I don't want to get too involved there considering that is where the new DLC takes place. But let me know what you guys think we should do in the comments down below, and then we shall see what our next move shall be. I would like to thank uh, the folks who continue to support the channel, uh, leaving comments, likes. Uh, I realize that... Uh, there haven't been a lot of episodes lately, but uh, like I said at the beginning, uh, that is just uh, an unfortunate, unfortunate matter. But I do appreciate everybody coming out and watching the series so far. Uh, I would like to thank the folks on Patreon. Uh, I will be temporarily uh, closing the Patreon just because due to the... Uh, few uh, episodes that have been coming out recently. I didn't think it would be fair to the patrons to continue that for now. But I do want to thank those who have done so so far. You can obviously also join the Discord in the link down below where we can discuss events within these series and just in Crusader Kings in general. But I would like to thank you all once again. Uh, I will see you in the next episode. Until the next time, I have been Stray, and I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful evening. <laughs>